everybody. Welcome back to Kathak Tutorials. A big thank you to all of you who have showered me with love and blessings and uh, who like my videos, who share my videos, which are posted on Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you will be notified instantly whenever I post new content. This tutorial video is going to be about how to make the perfect bun using your own hair in less than 5 minutes. Let's start. So let us start by combing the hair at the front. As you can see I have flicks so I am just going to put all of my hair back with my hand and gently just take the layer which is in front so that I am going to include all the bags which are there. Here I am just going to twist a little and hold my head up and push. So when you push a little poof comes up which is good. Now I am going to secure this with a couple of TikTok pins, black TikTok pins. Do not use any other color except black when it comes to clips or safety, not safety pins, sorry, hair pins. Now here just to avoid any loose ends coming up, I am going to use a smaller Tic Tac pin and secure that as well. As for the hair on the side, now I am going to take the first section which is here, only this section and comb it and put it across the TikTok pins. You can also twist it. And I'm going to secure this with a hair clip, with a bobby pin if you prefer to call it that. Same thing I'm going to do with this section of hair. Comb it properly. And if your hair is thin, you can take more hair over here, like two sections instead of just one. So from here, okay, this section you are taking, which is going to comb it. And again, you are going to place it across the bobby pins. Sorry, the TikTok pins and secure it with a bobby pin. So the front part of your hairstyle is ready. You might want to adjust this a little bit. Now with the remaining hair, I'm going to start with my thumbs put them behind my ears and make sure that I grab all of my hair and I'm going to put it in a ponytail now. Again, a black rubber band. So this ponytail should come exactly in the center of your head. Center at the back of the back of your head. After you have secured your hair in a ponytail, take a donut and put it across like this so that your ponytail hangs down. Now you must now you must bend down, let your head down and let your hair cover the entire donut. You 
might want to check that your hair is covering the donut evenly and no portion is being left out. Again, take a black rubber band and put it across the donut and with holding your fingers here and at the center and the thumbs down, you're going to push the rubber band inside. Just a little bit. After this, very carefully without disturbing the clips which you have already put up here, you're going to take the hair down and make two sections. Make two sections of hair. Take one and twist it around. And take it from above and under the other section. Twist as you go ahead. And again from under the other section of hair. Now this end I'm again going to secure with a bobby pin. As my hair are smooth and silky, instead of U-pins, I prefer to use uh, these clips which are very, which help me secure my hair properly. Okay, I can see that that will go inside the net, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to twist my hair again, the second section, and this time I'm going, I'm going to take it from under. And the same way going ahead twist so it's going to look something like this from behind so this section has also come here I'm going to secure it again using a bobby pin now you're going to take a net a hair net. Open it up nicely and put it on your bun so that you get any hair which is hanging loose. If your hair is coming out, if you, especially if you have layers, this is going to fail. After you're done putting the net. You can use U pins or you can use bobby pins. So take the section here, put the net down. Take one section of your hair, entangle the net in the pin and push it inside the bun. This we are going to repeat one by one for the entire bun. We are going to cover all the angles. very careful over here because that is where all the other clips are so you have to make sure that you are not disturbing their that setup Now coming to the gajra part, hold up one end and just measure how much gajra you are going to require. Okay, so I am going to require this much. Now here what I am going to do, I am just going to separate the white pixels. And I'm going to cut the other part. After that, make sure 
the thread is not visible and the flowers are pretty equidistant from each other so after this just put it across your bun and one more thing you can do is you can just tie it beforehand before putting it across and leave a little bit of space in between okay After you've secured the knot, we're just going to cover the thread up with the petals again. And now the flowers are pretty equidistant from each other. As long as you're using the same donut, you can just keep this uh, gajara tied up and put it across the bun this way. So that it is going to fit securely over the bun. Again, you can use U pins or bobby pins to secure it. Your bun is ready.